has been a pretty interesting day. Now, there's a couple reasons for that. One, I feel like I have done a lot today. I feel like I've accomplished a lot, and yet I haven't really done anything. Now, let me explain a little bit. So today, all day, I've been studying and taking tests. Now, finals week is not tomorrow, or today actually is Monday, but it's next week. But for my online classes, they end at the end of this week, so I thought I'd finish them now, especially because I'm a little behind in one, but I did half of it in like two days, a few days, or I mean a few uh, weeks ago, so... I got most of that done today, and then I had a big test for uh, ground school today also. And so I had to get that done. So I've been studying since I woke up, and I took a bunch of tests. So I feel very accomplished. I feel like I've done a lot, but in reality, I haven't really moved today. So, you know, I've kind of been sitting around. But I'm about to go to a barbecue and actually enjoy the sun because it's a ridiculously nice day. So I can't wait to go do that. today off with another story time vlog so today uh, the the story is gonna be about my first day of work on my very first job now keep keep this in mind as I tell this story when you first get your job you're very nervous when you're 16 and you've never worked before and you have no idea what's going on you're pretty nervous so keep that in mind as my day is going on that I'm already nervous from the second I you know my car pulls up I'm nervous about what's about to happen so I'll start it off when I got hired so I'm looking around when I turn 16, I instantly want a job. I want money, it sounds like great things are coming. You know, that's what it's like to be 16 and getting your first job. You think, oh, I'm gonna have so much money, because it is, it seems like a lot of money when you first start. So, I'm like, I'm about to have a lot of money flowing my way, everything's going good. Um, I can keep those lights on, but, uh, I'm in my car right now. I'm about to go inside, but I thought I'd make this real quick. So, I walk inside. Um, I've already had my... So, I get hired uh, at Pop Murphy's. My parents actually grabbed the application. I didn't even know there was one in Bonnie Lake. So, that was where I first worked. Pop Murphy's in Bonnie Lake. And so, yeah. So, they gave me the application. I went, I turned it in. And then they're like, oh... You'll meet the manager. So I met the manager. You know, I set up. I had my interview. Interview went well. Then I had to wait a week to hear back from her to know that I got the job. It was pretty crazy. I missed her first call, which some, somehow seems to be a repeat thing. I missed my first call from my employer. I also did that at the Y, but thank God I went in and got everything checked out there too uh, when I started working there. But... Anyways, so I get the job, I go to orientation, you know, everything seems good, but already it was kind of weird when I show, or when we finished orientation, they said, okay, so we're going to get you guys your first day of work. We'll give you, you know, a slip of paper that has your first day of work on it. Mine, I didn't get one. They said, okay, go in Friday or call Friday and hear about your first day of work. So, towards the end of the day, Friday, I come in, you know, I'm like, okay, when am I supposed to work? And already I'm let down because I want to work. I, you know, I'm super excited to work and get my job. So, I want to work as soon as possible. So, I was already let down about that. And so, I go into work and I walk, and my manager calls me back. She's like, where were you today? I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, you were supposed to work today. I'm like, are you serious? They told me that I'm not working today. So, first of all, I missed my first day of work technically, but this story's not even about that. So, I was already set up really bad. <laughs> um, that way, they kind of... It, it was a weird thing. So, then I cut... She's like, okay, come in next next Thursday. And so, what 
I didn't think about is next Thursday is Thursday Night Football. And I don't know if you guys know anything about foot or pizza places on days that there's football, especially when your team is the Seahawks and they're winning. Um, it gets pretty busy. So I walk in. I've never seen. I've never really been to a Papa Murphy's when it's busy. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't have expected this. I come in. There's a line out the door on my first day of work. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I sit in the lobby. I'm 20 minutes early. I sit in the lobby till about 10 minutes before I go to work. And so I go up and I ask this guy who's working, "Hey, um, you know what do I do? I just start working here." And he's like, "No, you don't." Let alone do I know this is my actual manager manager. The person who hired me and did everything was my assistant manager. So I was like, what do you, what do you mean? You know, and he's like, you don't work here. I'm like, what are you talking about? And so anyways, I'm going to tell you something else, guys. Um, he seemed really scary the first time I met him, but he's actually a great guy. And I would still be working at Pop Murphy's if that manager still worked there. I'll try not to use names, but he he's a great guy. But when I first met him... It was a little different story, at least that's what I thought. So, then I don't know what to do, I'm about, so I decide to go and just walk to the back. And so I wait by this guy who's been on the phone for probably, you know, 20 minutes, the whole 20 minutes I've been there, he's been picking up the phone, answering, you know, hanging up, because you get ridiculous amounts of calls on days like that, on busy days like football days and two for or ten dollar Tuesday and stuff stuff like that you'd never let the phone down if you're on the phones so he uh he was super nice guy I'm not gonna use his name because I don't know if he'd want me to but he's honestly the nicest guy uh I still see him every now and then he's super cool but so he helped me out and he's like okay here's this here's that you know go get ready and I'll help you out so then finally I get it I get ready you know um, I get everything sorted out with my manager. I'm like, okay, Kayla told me to come in. Oh, I'm sorry, I use names, but she told me to come in today. He's like, oh, well, she didn't even tell me that, but, you know, you're just going to be in the back for today. So I end up starting um, with somebody else on that day. It's their first day, too, and so we're super nervous. He brings them to work up front. She cannot take it. It's too busy. Everything is too stressful. So he sends her to the back also. So we're just back there doing chores. Honestly, once it got going, it was pretty sweet. But when you come in and your manager tells you you don't work there, it's kind of an iffy thing. And then um, it ended up being a pretty sweet day because I didn't have to do much. Um, And my favorite thing was when I first started working there, I could actually smell all the food. After you work there a long time, you get used to it and you don't even notice it. But anyways, I thought I'd just end today's video with that story because it's kind of, it's a little short story, but at least you guys kind of get the gist of how crazy my first day of work was because it really was. And I mean, I just can't. I can't put you right there, but I hope you guys kind of get the gist of my first day of work was really, you know, when you come in super nervous um, and you come into that and you've already missed your real first day of work because of, you know, your franchise people, you know, it was, it was weird, but I thought I'd share that story with you guys. Hope you guys all have a great night. Remember, if you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.